there goes Timmy now. So Timmy's going up to the mountains and uh, doing a little mountain climbing with the Banshee. Kind of weird seeing that big of a truck in the four where they're not even fitting in the back of it. So today we get to look at a huge farm, the biggest farm in the area, the biggest farm in this side of the state. We got a road trip to do, so let's get her at her. Before we do that, we gotta feed Gina and Max here quick. There you go. That should keep you suffice until I get back late tonight. Why we're going, oh, yep, can't forget Honky Grant here. Who is this? Who is this running down the road? Oh, whoa, whoa, Grant. Oh, wow. Yep, yeah, I think Grant paid me back there. That was loud. Why we're running this road trip? I've noticed that less than half of you are subscribed to the channel. It's very easy. It's free. Just click it. And don't forget to click the like button. Thank y'all. Who is this? What? Oh, he's got somebody pulled over. Oh, man. Is that Hayden? Uh-oh. Wonder what he did. A little speeding back there. Sorry, little buddy. All right. Well, we got a long road trip. Better stop by Casey's, get some coffee. Okay, we are almost to the place here. Is that a more bore plow? Man, you don't see them every day. Ooh, yeah, we got a lot of equipment going on, a lot of movement. Farmers are definitely getting ready. What's that John Deere truck following that case for? Farmers are definitely getting ready for harvest. I uh, think I might need to pass you, buddy. All right, see you later. Uh oh, better get it going. There's a truck or a tractor coming up my way. What the heck? I've never seen this type. Is that a uh, Alice? Man. This place sure does look familiar. Should be about there what we got. Okay, that's a lot of uh, stinky going on right there. Actually, it looks like I missed my turn, so yeah. That farmer's like, what the heck is this city folk doing here in the country? Uh, all right. Got a tractor, a drill going. Maybe a winter wheat planting or double cropping, something like that. Definitely gonna have to uh, pass this guy. Looks like uh, Kenworth, maybe? Uh, I think this is it. I don't know how I missed this. Almost catched up to the Alice right there. So, Winston Farm has passed down for five generations. This farm is huge. And the most impressive thing is they have very little money uh, borrowed from the bank. And they got some really nice equipment. Now I understand there's probably bigger farmyards out there, but this farm is huge. Almost the entire family works on this farm, which is unusual, but pretty freaking cool. So I actually went to school with Sam Winston. He's the fourth generation. He had a few kids. They are now the fifth generation. This farm is huge. He has three brothers, uh, two uncles, still run the farm. Grandpa, he recently, second generation that would be, uh, yeah. He recently passed away, but they're still running strong. One thing I have noticed since I've been here is, man, these guys definitely need more storage. So they recently shut down the beef and pig operation here on this farm. They just do just crop farming. Look at this Case IH. AFS 540. So uh, I think Sam said that they turned all these up. 
So they're definitely putting out more horsepower than what they are, uh, say, on the side of the hood. This is a Stalford. Uh, huh. Wow. This thing. So they do have some, uh, let's say, sticky, sloppy operation going here. So uh, it gets pretty muddy, nasty in the fields. Look at this Peterbilt truck. We've got uh, what, a jet hopper on the back there. Man, I'm thinking that they kind of dig in orange here. It's just a thought, but I've seen a lot of orange since I've been here. All right, what do we got here? This is a 7R, I think. Yeah, 7R. Oh, wow. Not a front wheel sis. You don't see that every day. Huh, that's kind of an odd uh, tractor around this area. What the heck? I believe this must be a white center field planter here. Looks like they have another one down over there. Cross. Let's uh, scoop through here quick. Got a uh, Batwing mower deck, John Deere. What is this? Uh, 4760. Yep, pipes on the side. A loader tractor. It must be nice to have a 4760 just for mowing operation. Yeah. Must have retired this from the cattle operation, I'm guessing. We got a. I was going to say Mac, but I believe this is a Ford truck. Yep. Ford Aeromax 9000. I'm not for sure. This is some uh, dirt moving operation. They do have to clear some uh, brush and trees and maybe rocks in the field. That might be it. I guess you can always use one of them. This is another white planter here. Center fill 60 foot. Man, they, I've seen two of them already. That's pretty impressive. Man, looks like they leave this old power ram sitting here in the old uh, cattle shed. That thing is a beaut. Looks like this is their spraying truck here. Got a uh, bison. Chevy bison. More orange on the farm. Definitely. That must be their namesake or something. It's kind of weird that Orange Love went down for all the kids. Wow, we got a couple John Deere drills, I believe. I don't know exactly how wide they are, but man, two John Deere drills. These must be for their soybeans or maybe cover crops if they do that here or not. They got a Challenger just sitting here in the shed. Got a couple side applicators. Oh, wow. Watch out for these knives here. Jump over here. Wow, we got a new DB60 John Deere. I guess uh, even the big operations, they got to get it done quick. Looks like a little fertilizer, back cart, a small drill for this field, or this farm at least, I should say. We got a Coon 56 foot field copper cultivator. Got two of them. Got another Stalford. They must run through over the crops with these in the winter, maybe, or early spring. We got a speed disc. John Deere 26 foot. Wow, that's impressive. Definitely utilizing their space, but man, get some more cold storage or something definitely got to get some cold storage around here on the farm now here gets where it's expensive an 8rx that's a 410 man got the wide tracks on there that's impressive got more of their feedlot going on over here or their old feedlot i should say what do we got in here Ooh, man they're hiding stuff here in this shed here got an old cab over Got a bobcat here with a JCB telehandler. Man, must be nice, I guess. You gotta move all that seed pallets and everything. Maybe they took it from the old uh, feedlot, maybe? I don't know. Just kept it over. Of course, they got uh, Escalade here. 
Must be one of the Mrs. Uh, vehicles. Uh, probably the smallest uh, operation here on the farm. Got a little gator, a little spreader on the back. That's probably not going to get a lot done. Holy cow, somebody definitely spent a lot of money modifying their truck here. Starting to think that they might be Dodge Ford. Well, it is she a Chevy. So I did have one bull tie, a couple Fords on the farm. Man, this is a, a modified Ford, uh, what is this, a F800. And of course, we got a Challenger in the back here. This mowing deck here. A skag? Did I hear Sam call? Maybe I did. Wow, we got a, a 716C. 16 foot head. Ooh, looks like it's 30 inch spacing. A ram. A truck. You see, uh, they kind of like orange. Or this uh, burnt orange. I don't know exactly what to call this. That's a three-quarter ton mega cab. Got another Steiger quad track here. Whew, 540. Case IH pulling a huge Parker grain cart. This is a 1354. Are you telling me that that's almost the same size as that one up on the hill over here? Man, that can't be right. Maybe them numbers are off. Maybe they're about the same size. Now, this is what I saw when I pulled up. Holy cow. They got an X9 here. Whew. Wow. That's impressive. 16 foot head. Yeah, I wonder what other combine pulls that 16 foot head. Uh, this door's open. I'll just let myself in. Is that a crop sprayer here? Looks like I wonder where that thing takes off. Got a crop sprayer. Go on this here. Ooh, another speed disc here. Speed till. What the heck? This is a 9570R pulling this. Man, that's a beefy looking John Deere there. Ooh, look how close all this stuff is. Talk about packing in like sardines. That is close. Is that a flag flying on top of that uh, auger? Oh, I did I I think I missed this uh, 8RX back here. Oh, we got another 8RX 410 on another grain cart. Look like brother and sister. Whew. Wow. Okay. Oh, they got another X9. Holy cow. What is this? This is a S690. Whew. All right. So that's your oldest harvester on the farm, I guess. So Sam just told me that uh, they actually kept all the equipment that basically built this farm, ran for years, almost run into the ground. Very impressive old harvesters. So we got a 1480, we got a uh, 9 or 70, what is this? A uh, 7520. Don't see that every day. Old uh, 4630 with a front tank on front. Chromed out. Whew, wow. Other than the 7520 here, they keep this pretty pristine. A 7720 here. So we get to spin up all this gear, get everything ready, get into the field, start some corn harvest. We got uh, three harvesters two with 16 roll heads gonna be running here three grain carts we got trucks all over the place i've never been more excited to get in the field gotta run these over gotta be a good grain cart operator get everything he misses Ooh, wow he is going quick here man do i like this uh 8rx Man, I was hoping to get into that other harvester, but I don't know if I'm going to get into it because, man, we can't keep up with these. Things are flying through this field. Wow. You 
get a lot of harvesting done with two of these things in the field. This auger on this thing is giant. It's like I'm a football field away from them. And look how far big of a gap. Don't have to worry about an inexperienced grain cart operator when you're using one of these harvesters. Wow. Definitely a lot of money. Alright, gotta catch that other X9. Man, you gotta get more of these uh, grain carts in the field. Looks like another one's up there on the truck already full. Wow. Definitely use all this 410 horsepower keeping up with these big behemoths. Alright. Just unloaded him. I have no idea how many bushels per minute per second it is. But that thing unloads fast. Alright, alright, filling up this humongous hopper already. Don't know why that grain cart isn't going to catch another harvester. Can't be slacking on the job around here. Put that nozzle a little bit farther out, because uh, that's one thing about this J&M. Sure has a short auger on it. Not crazy about that. Would like a little bit longer one. Bad thing about this thing unloads probably slower than uh, I'm gonna miss tips there. Yep. Probably slower than the X9 does. Alright. Well. Sam said get in to the harvester already. If I don't do it now, I'm never gonna get into it because them things are chopping down that corn like it's going out of style. Fire this girl up. Don't know if we really need the corn reel or not. Because I uh, don't think we are going to have to deal with much down corn, but we're not taking it off right anyways clean up after this uh, hungry X9 over here. Look at that corn reel go to town there. Yeah, probably should have took it off, but maybe they just keep this for the down corn they got it going around here. That thing going, I'm gonna cut a path right here, probably in the center. I think it's time to do a little montage. Almost got everything full. All the trucks are full. All the harvesters are full. I just didn't get a chance to run that X9. Oh my goodness. We definitely don't have enough personnel around here. I'm cleaning up everything them hungry X9s left behind here. But uh, thank you all for watching. And I will see you next time over here in Iowa, Wisconsin somewhere around here. What, did you think I wasn't going to run this thing? Of course, we gotta clean this up, 
John Deere rep is right here. Why wouldn't I? I had to sneak it in. This thing is huge. I I've never harvested with a 16 row head before. Ooh, wow. We are flying through this field. This is what harvesting is made of. Catch you next time. If you want to play with all these mods and more, check out Apex Game PCs. If you want a PC just like mine, check out my specs down there. Just ask them, and they'll build you one. Customize just like it. Save 10% by using the code SQUAD. Later, y'all.